How do you think life originated on Earth? And what insights does that give us about life? If we go back to the origin of Earth and you think about maybe 4.7, 4.6, 4.5 billion years ago, the planet was quite hot. There was a limited number of minerals. There was some carbon, some water. And I think that maybe it's a really simple set of chemistry that we, we really don't understand. So that means you've got a finite number of elements that are going to react very simply with one another. And out of that mess comes a cell. So literally sand turns into cells. And it seems to happen quick. So what I think I can say with some degree of, I think not certainty, but curiosity, genuine curiosity is that life happened fast. Yeah, so when we say fast, th th this is a pretty surprising fact, and maybe you can actually correct me and elaborate, but it, it seems like most, like 70 or 80% of the time that Earth has been around, there's been life on it, like some very significant percentage. So when you say fast, like the slow part is from single cell or from bacteria to some more complicated organism, it seems sure. like. Most of the time that Earth has been around, it's been single cell or like very basic organisms, like a couple billion years. But yeah, you're right, That that's really, I recently kind of revisited our history and saw this. And I was just looking at the timeline, wait a minute, like how did life just spring up so quickly? Like really quickly. That makes me think that it really wanted to. Like put another way, it's very easy for life to spring. Yeah, to I life. agree. I think it's much more inevitable and I think um, I try to kind of, pro not provoke, but try and push chemists to think about this, because chemists are part are central to this problem, right? Of understanding the origin of life on earth, at least, because we're made of, we're made of chemistry. But I wonder if the origin of life on a planet, or sorry, the emergence of life on the planet is as um, common as the formation of a star. And if you start framing it in that way, it allows you to then look at the universe slightly differently, because, um, and we can get into this, I think, in quite some detail. But I think, I, to, to come back to your question, I have r little idea of how life got started. But I know it was simple. And I know that the process of selection had to occur before the biology was established. So that selection built the framework from which life kind of grew in complexity and capability and functionality and autonomy. And I think these are all really important words that we can unpack over the next uh, while. Can you say all the words again? So you said selection, mm -hmm. so natural selection, a, the original A-B testing. And so, and then complexity, and then uh, or the degree of autonomy and sophistication. Because I think that people misunderstand what life is. Um, some people say that life is a cell, and some people that say that life is a um, a virus or life is a you know, a, a, an on-off switch. I don't think it's that. Life is the universe developing a memory. And um, the laws of physics and the way, well, there are no laws of physics. Physics is just memory-free stuff, right? <laughs> so there's only a finite number of ways you can arrange the fundamental particles to do the things. Life is the universe developing a memory. So yes. it's like sewing a piece of art slowly and then you can look back at it so so there's a stickiness to life it's like universe doing stuff yeah and when you say memory it's like there's a stickiness to a bunch of the stuff that's building together yeah so like you can in a uh, stable way like um, trace back the complexity and that tells a co coherent story yeah and i think yeah okay that's, by the way, very poetic and <laughs> beautiful. Life is the universe developing a memory. Hmm. Okay, and then there's autonomy, you said, and complexity we'll talk about, but mm -hmm. it's a really interesting idea that selection preceded biology. 